mud hen setup, operation, and cleanup. The difference between end plates and intermediate plates is the hole in the center of the intermediate plates and the indicator dots on the side of the plates. Make sure your plates are in properly. Turn the jack or leaf knob closed. Turn the jack shaft extension until it is within one inch from the back of the end plate. Begin increasing the pressure on the jack handle until jack handle is too hard to pull back. This compresses the filter press plates together. Attach output hose to the output valve. Make sure the valve is in the open position. Make sure the isolation valve A is in the horizontal position. Lock down the 360 degree swivel and wheel locks for stability and safety. Attach the mud hen slurry input hose. If possible, agitate the slurry, then add the end of the slurry input hose into the slurry water. Attach your air compressor hose to the mud hen air fitting. Turn operation control on panel to off position. Adjust regulator to the 30 PSI on mud hen control regulator. Turn the operation controller to the run position counterclockwise. As back pressure builds in the mud hen, the pump slows. Adjust regulator PSI up to 20 pounds per increment. This can be done up to 80 PSI, but should not exceed 80 PSI. Note, if the unit plates leak while pressure builds, apply more pressure via the hand jack. Your mud hen is full when the pump stalls. This does not harm the pump. Or pumps infrequently at 80 PSI. The unit is full of solids. Drying and cleaning your mud hen. Remove intake hose from sludge and allow pump to pump air for a minimum of five minutes. The longer it operates, the drier the cake. Turn operation controller to off position. Turn isolation valve A, located right below controls, to its off position. This will allow more air to travel through the plates. Adjust regulator to 20 PSI. Turn operation controller to dry. Water will sputter out of the output valve for up to two minutes. Let air run for about three minutes. Turn the operation controller to off. Open the isolation valve A. Loosen the hydraulic jack pressure relief valve and screw in the extension nut on the jack. Pull back the back plate to access and clean the plates. Open the screens and clean them with the enclosed scraper. Avoid sharp objects on the cloth. After every one to four weeks, depending on the nature of the slurry, pressure wash the plates and cloths to ensure open and clean pores for proper filtering. Do not leave solids in the mud hen for more than one to two days. Doing so can ruin the screen cloths in the system.